Hello and welcome to another Tyco video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a new feature that has just now been added to the Tyco software. This is in relation to an observing campaign that has just now kicked off. And the purpose behind it is to evaluate a relatively new technique called zero aperture astrometry. And this is focused exclusively on comets. Uh, so if you are measuring any other type of object, it really does not apply. But uh, for comets in particular, this is a new technique that may or may not prove uh, useful. Uh, the jury is still out on it. Uh, but uh, again, that's the goal of this observing campaign is to evaluate the effectiveness uh, of this technique. So the way it works is you actually create multiple observations, each associated with a different astrometry aperture. And then you can take those set of measurements and arrive at what they call the zero aperture measurement. So I have an example here of 30 different images of comet C2019Y4. And as always, I can double click to center the object of interest. Now what's different this time, however, is that rather than creating a single observation, I am instead going to navigate to the Create menu and choose Zero Aperture. So this presents a new window, and here I can specify the minimum and maximum aperture in pixel units. So the default values are 2 and 7, and once I have the parameters, I can then click Create button, and now I have six measurements corresponding to the range of aperture values. Now you'll notice that the first three measurements, uh, they appear to have the same centroid at the pixel level, and the fourth one finally is enough of a change and centroid where we can actually observe a noticeable change at the pixel level. So first three, once again, you see this centroid, and now it shifts by an entire pixel by the time it has got to the fourth measurement. So again, these are small changes from one measurement to the next. So this is just to give an example of what you might expect. But uh, it is potentially enough of a change that uh, using these measurements, you can arrive at a slightly improved centroid. So once you have your measurements, you can then click Add to Target List. Again, this is C2019Y4. And from that, you can then generate the ADS report. So now I could copy and paste these measurements into the Zero Aperture Astrometry tool used by the observing campaign. Now, again, these are measurements from just a single exposure, single 60 second exposure. Now, if I wanted to, I could also repeat this process using a stack of the 30 images here. So one way to do that, I can right click and choose Create Marker 1 go to the last image and right click and choose create marker two. So I've now defined the motion of the object and then choose create stack from markers. So now I have a stack of 30 images and I can click on the create button once again. So I now have again another set of measurements, add to target list, C2019Y4 is the designation and generate the ADS report once again. So again, the first six measurements correspond to measurements of the single exposure, and the second set of measurements correspond to the stacked image. And the photometry aperture column is the aperture of the measurement in arc seconds. So keep that in mind. So that's about it for this demo. Again, this is a new feature that makes it easier to create these different measurements with different astrometry apertures. So thank you for watching and see you next time.